Hello and welcome to another episode of Ezoic Explains. I'm Whitney Wright and today we're going to be talking about how WordPress plugins work. If you're familiar with WordPress at all, then you're likely familiar with WordPress plugins. However, in case you aren't, a WordPress plugin is basically an app, like you would have on your phone, that adds new features and functionality to your WordPress website. In this scenario, it is like your WordPress site is like a phone on factory settings. There are things that are pre-installed that are valuable and cover the core of what a phone does. Plugins could be anything from compressing images to contact forms to e-commerce functionality. They are extremely popular because they allow website publishers to add to their website without needing to know code. There are over 50,000 WordPress plugins, with new ones being added all the time. How a WordPress plugin works is that the plugin integrates and runs on top of the WordPress software. WordPress is written in such a way that other developers can add their own code to it, and this includes plugins. The way the API works is that it has a set of hooks and filters that allow developers to change WordPress functionality or add to it. A hook is a function that can be applied to either an action or filter in WordPress. Actions allow you to add extra functionality at a specific point in the processing of the page. For example, you might want to add extra widgets or menus, or add a promotional message to your page. Filters allow you to intercept and modify data as it is processed. For example, you might want to insert another CSS class in a WordPress HTML element, or modify some of your page's blocks. WordPress plugins can utilize content types, taxonomies, and custom fields, which allow users to store different types of content, not just posts and pages. Let's break down some of those words. Content types include WordPress posts, pages, attachments, revisions, and nav menus. Taxonomies are ways to organize posts or custom post types. WordPress comes with two automatic ones, categories and tags. Custom fields are metadata that are used to add additional information related to the post or page that you are editing. Every WordPress plugin is logged in your database. As you know, you can deactivate and delete them at any time. With each visit, WordPress connects to the database, loads the software, and then loads active plugins. This code is processed to your server and then sent to the visitor's browser. This is why having too many plugins can slow your site down. There is more to load when WordPress connects to the database. It's important to only download plugins that you trust. There are malicious plugins out there that can abuse your website. Plugins on WordPress backend at the wordpress.org backslash plugins can generally be trusted. Quality is also important. Make sure and read reviews or look at the star amount on plugins. Ensure that the plugin does exactly what you want it to do and that it does it well. And that's it for this episode of Ezoic Explains. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our playlist, like this video. You can find us on all social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, ezoic.com, ezoic.com slash blog, Twitter. And this has been another episode of Ezoic Explains.